First and nine, we have new details about the man accused of shooting a Kuwaita gas station clerk five times. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Craig Day. And I'm Lori Fulbright. Tulsa police arrested Alec Hayden yesterday for that shooting that happened at a come and go last month. News on Six's Grant Stevens joins us live with more tonight. Grant. Lori Craig, investigators tell me that security footage from inside the come and go played a big role in identifying Hayden as a suspect. Police say after they released photos of him and his name, he turned himself in. Kuwaita police say Alec Hayden's arrest ends the nearly month long search for the man in this security video who shot a come and go clerk five times before running off with stolen cash. This is a relatively safe area and this type of crime is almost unheard of. District Attorney Jack Thorpe says Hayden is facing two felony counts, robbery with a deadly weapon and assault and battery with a deadly weapon. He is looking at what could be life in prison. Kawita Police Chief Mike Bell says with help from the DA's office, investigators combed through around 200 tips and identified Hayden as a suspect before he turned himself in. We were able to locate the subject and I believe that uh, the, the pressure that was put on him his family convinced him to go ahead and turn himself into the Tulsa Police Department. Bell and Thorpe say a potentially violent suspect turning himself in is an ideal scenario, and they hope the arrest sends a message to any would-be criminals. A perfect ending to this, to be honest. If there's any ending at all that a police department wants, this would be the one. It's not going to be a good idea to come to Coweta or anywhere within District 27 and commit these types of crimes because law enforcement will mobilize and they will find you. Thorpe says the victim, Harrison Bentley Bales, survived the shooting. And in a social media post, he says he's now out of the hospital and though some of his injuries are still healing up, he's recovering well. Live in Tulsa, Grant Stevens, Oklahoma's own News on 6.